Oh, hey guys. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a uh, cheesecake, uh, standard edition. And uh, we're just going to, you know, go through the steps, make a real basic cake, and um, it's going to be awesome. Okay, first thing you want to do, I've already done it, but you want to preheat your oven to 375. First thing we're going to be making is the crust. Some of the stuff I already got set out, because you want your butter to already be kind of soft. So you can squeeze it a little bit, that'll help with the mixing. This, you definitely want them to be soft, unless you're going to be using a mixer. You don't have to use a mixer. I don't like to, because you can overbeat your eggs. Uh, we got our measuring cups, our measuring spoon things, a really good, sturdy spatula if you want to do it without a uh, mixing thing. Um, so the first step, let's see here. We're going to grab a bowl, and we're going to heat up our uh, our butter here, so we can mix it in with our crust, which is broken up graham cracker. You can either do it yourself in a Ziploc bag and a hammer, or you can, uh, you can just buy it, and we did. Here it is, graham cracker crumbs. And they come in a little bag, that looks like that. And, uh, what you want to do is you want to measure out two cups of this. And this is going to get mixed with sugar also. So, go in here, we got a nice one cup. Everything's written, all the numerals are written in uh, English, so it's easy to read. Alright, we're going to go one cup. You can kind of do shitty measurements, it's okay. That's one. We're going to run out here. I got another box. That's one and a half. I gotta let it sit there. Open up this other box over here. Nice and easy. You don't want to ruin it. You don't want to open it up like a you know a kid in the 80s trying to get a toy in the cereal and ruin it. And then the next time you try to go and get anything, it's gonna spill Captain Crunch all over your floor and your mom gets mad. Okay. Two cups. And then we add a little bit of sugar. How much sugar? Some people say a dab. I say three tablespoons. So I got a two tablespoon here. Boom. I'm gonna I'm gonna get fancy. I'm gonna actually measure out three tablespoons. And I just do a little shake there so it's not keeping. It's not amazingly accurate. Mix it up a little bit. This is where you get to use this guy. Just get a good mix on it. It's a dry mix. By this time, we probably got our butter going. Butter looks nice. Pour our butter in there. And it is hot. That is some hot butter. Now, usually you only use seven tablespoons, but I think we just boiled out about one of them. So that's all right. So let's mix this up real nice and good here. Nice and consistent. And then we're gonna lay this into our spring form. Uh, mixing up our, our crumb bottom here. And I uh, just wanna show you guys the, uh, the consistency that's needed. So the consistency here, if you pack it, it basically stays. That's the consistency you want. So now, we're just going to take all of this, pour it in our spring form over here, all right, and just put it out kind of evenly. And then what we're going to do, you just got to even it all out. You want to even it all out. And this is where a lot of people make their mistakes with cheesecake. They try to go really high up along the edge. You don't have to do that. You don't want to do that, in fact. You don't have to, and you don't want to. I think they have robots that make it or something. That's, they're not possible. Okay, and then on the end here, to get the edge, I just press it. Just run the spoon around. And you're packing. You're, you are packing this incredibly tight. No, not really. You're gently packing it into the wall. To make a real nice mix. Everything with baking is delicate. You can't, you can't do anything too hard or you're gonna screw it up. Everything's a delicate process. So you get it like this. 
put this sucker in the oven for about nine minutes at 375. It's a big deal. Ready to go. So these are pre-softened. I left them out. So they're already nice and soft. Alright, so what we got here is uh, four eight-ounce packages of cream cheese. And we're just gonna mix these up. They're kind of softened, so this isn't too bad. So the next thing we put in here is flour. It doesn't take much. It's only two tablespoons of flour. I bet if you didn't use flour, probably nothing would happen. And then salt. This is about all the salt you want to put in there. That's really it. You gotta put in a little because you don't want to over sweeten it. A little bit of salt goes a long way in the baking world. Then, okay, so we got a pound, I guess two pounds of cream cheese, some tablespoons of flour, a little bit of salt. What we're missing is the sugar. It takes a good bit of sugar. I'm talking a cup and a quarter here, okay? Double shake. Two hands shaking at the same time, it's pretty amazing. All right, uh, our alarm is going off here. Nice and golden brown. Once the tiny bit of the edge starts browning, you're good to go. Let that sit and cool, and at the same time, we gotta lower this temperature all the way down to 300. We're gonna start adding our eggs. Particular recipe. It's gonna take four eggs. Um, did you see that? That's how I do it. So one egg goes in. Just get it to mix in. When you overbeat the eggs, that's the number one reason you end up with a cracked cheesecake when you bake it. All right, so let's do the next one. As you do the one egg, by the time you put in the second egg, you're still beating the first. And when you go to the third egg, you're still beating the first. So, how much do you beat the first egg before you put the second egg in, so that when you get to the fourth egg, the first egg has beaten just enough? It's a differential equation, and I figured out a way to map it with the help of MATLAB. Right before we pour this into there, we're gonna put in finally over now. It says pure, not imitation. This is the final step. Our oven has cooled down to 300. This thing has cooled down to what we want it at. And the pour. Let's hold it nice like a record player. Don't try to make any record swipes or you're gonna screw it up. Put that sucker in. Very careful and slowly. It's the most important part. After 55 minutes, we're gonna take it out, check it. Move it around and see if it's the jello consistency we're looking for. If it's not, we gotta put it back in for about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been an hour. Cake's like done. Yes. Turn, turn this off. And then you let it cool. And you put it in the refrigerator for like 8 hours. You can't even eat it. 